Hello everyone, Rice Time 911 here, and today in this Farming Simulator 2017 modding tutorial, we're going to be talking about light state and light tight. What is it all? What does it mean? What do they do? Okay, well, we're going to find out today in this video, so stay tuned. So today we're going to start off by looking at two files. One is the i3d file, and one is the XML file. And you can find these by unzipping your mod. So to start off with, I think we'll look at our XML file and just sort of define some of the parts of the light section in there, like the states and uh, light types and stuff like that, which we're talking about in this video tutorial. So we'll start that way. Okay, so in your XML, you may need to scroll down a bit, but you should be able to find a section that's called lights. And that'll just be from this opening bracket, lights, to the end bracket, slash lights. So between here and here, that is your light section. Okay. Now, a good thing to refer to as we go through this little tutorial is a guide which I will have included in the description and basically what it tells you is how to add lights to your farming simulator mod and it's got some of the definitions there such as what the real light is, the decoration, what light type is, and what some of the numbers relating to light type mean. So yeah, as we go through this tutorial you may want to have a look at that and that will probably make it easier for you to understand. Alright, so now getting back to this. Okay, so what do some of these things mean? Well, low, you see this section here, low? Well, basically what this low section is, is just which lights show when the game is being run on low graphics. So when far you have Farming Simulator and you have your graphics on low, these are the lights that will show that. And when you're running Farming Simulator and you got your graphics on high, these are the lights that will show. And one thing to note, when you have your graphics on low in Farming Simulator, the real lights, or rather the lights that reflect on the ground, they will not show for brake lights, turn lights, or reverse lights when you have low graphics on. So that's just something to note. And basically that's just for performance reasons. Okay. Now, states. Let's look at states. So, states is basically just which lights turn on when. So, here we have the first state. That would be when you press F once in game. So, when you press F the first time in game, light types 0 would turn on. So, this light would turn on. And so then you want, when you press F twice in game, that would be the second state. And lights 0 and 1 would turn on. So these two would turn on. And when you press F three times in game, then lights 0, 1, and 2 would turn on. Now, if you want another state, you could just copy this code and paste it. Now you wouldn't want to have this kind of text in here when you're doing it. You wouldn't want to have any of this or else it would mess up your coding, but I'm just doing this to explain it. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so you'd have your state. This would be your fourth state now. Your fourth light state. And then you could add another light type to turn on when you get to the fourth light state. So when you press F the fourth time. In game. This, these lights would turn on. One, zero. 1, 2, and 3 ones with that light type. Okay, so basically light type just basically identifies what kind of light it is. So let's say we have light type 0, that would mean it's the front light. If we have light type 1, that would mean it's a back work light. If we have light type 2, that would mean it's a front work light. And we have light type 3, that would mean it's a headlight. Now, something to note about light types one and two, and I think possibly three, is that work lights can be activated with numpad six in game. So lights that you 
list as light type 1 or 2, and possibly 3, they can be activated when you press numpad 6 in game, regardless of whether you have pressed F to turn on the other lights. But still, if you do press F in game, all light types will come on that you have specified. So even if you have a light type that is a work light, that work light will come on in the state. But you can also toggle the work light on or off with numpad 6. So just keep that in mind if you're making a work light for your mod or something like that, then you can have light type 1 or 2, and that way when you press numpad 6 in game, you can toggle that light on or off independently. Now we've learned all this good stuff, what all this means, but how do I know which light should have which light type? Well, you can go into your i3d file now, which I'll just do, and you can just sort of look at the indexes that are listed, such as here we have 0.2200, and you can sort of look at what is at 0.2200. So window, attributes, and you should see your index path there. So you should see 0.2200, and that's what we see over here, listed as the index. So what is it? Well, here we can see that it's the front coronas and light cones. So obviously, according to this guide, it would be a front light or a headlight. So you could have it either light types 0 or 3 or 0 and 3. And if you had 0 and 3, then it would come on at pretty much all light types because if you have it 0 and 3, anytime 0 or 3 is listed, that light would come on. So anytime that light type is listed in the state, yeah, you get it. Okay, so, and if we look at 0 0.2201, that's also a front light, and 0 0.2, that's a front light, real light, because it shines light on the ground, and obviously, that would be a front light, so, or a headlight too, it could be a headlight too, so we could put 0 0.3, or we could just put 0, which I'll just put 0. For simplicity, so that was 2201 and 2202. So we'll put that now 02211. That would be right here. So 02211 would be the back lights, real light. You can see by that little light bulb icon. Okay, so 02211, we could go there. And actually, you can sort of group back lights in the same group as front lights because they just sort of work on the same way, like they come on at the same time, or they should. Okay, so yeah, with this light setup, it's pretty simple. It's pretty much all front lights or headlights. So yeah, it's pretty simple. That's all you gotta do is zero and three, and there were only four lights we had to look at to make sure that was right. Now, in more complex builds where you have, say, a work light or something, you can Let's say you had another light, and it was a real light, which means it shines light on the ground. And let's just go here. We have our real light. It said 08132. Well, let's just paste that in there as the index. Now, we could set the light type for this light, 08132, as light type 1. Or two, but since it's a front work light, we could set to two, and that would reflect what it is. And there you go. And then this light would come on either in the third state, since it has zero, one, and two, and two is in there, or when you press numpad six in game, that light would come on as a work light. So you can activate either way, and six as a work light, it works pretty good. Okay, so that's pretty much how that works. You can sort of use light types in that way. And yeah, it's actually pretty simple once you work with it a bit and experiment and just figure out how it works that way. Now, the same goes for coronas of work lights. 
So let's say we have a corona of a work light, which is at 08131, which we can see the corona here. It's attached to the same spotlight where the real light is. So we can just sort of go and light and change real light to decoration. And then we can just go ahead and copy 0831. That's the index of the decoration, the corona. And paste that in there. And it would have the same light type since it would come on with the work light. So basically, you can kind of see how this works. It's you just put the light type you want to come on, and then with the state, you can just have those light types come on at a certain time. So you basically just define the light type through the light type, and then with the state, you can put when it comes on. It's pretty simple. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you're doing your low and high light types you got to keep them sort of the same. So, for instance, here we have light types 0, 1, 2, and 3. Here we have light types 0, 3, and 2. So we don't have light type 1 anywhere in here in the high section. So basically what we got to do is either get rid of the 1 here or add a 1 here because we got to have all light types there in the low in the high, if that makes sense. So if we have 0, 1, 2, and 3, in the low, we got to have 0, 1, 2, and 3 in the high. So probably the best solution for this is to just put this to 0 because it says it's front lights, which I went and found that out. And yeah, back lights, that would be 0 as well. And high beam, that would be a front light, so that would be 0 as well since it's a headlight. But we could actually, to keep the light types the same, is just put 0, 3 for that and maybe slip in a 2 somewhere. And then it will work all right. Actually, likely what we would do in this case is just copy the decoration of our spotlight or work light and then we'd have a 2 without having to change the backlight, say. So then we'd have the light type we need, and there we go. It would be good and perfect. And actually what we can do, just to keep it the same length, is we could put these together. Oops. And then we'd have this one with just the decoration, and this one with the real light and the decoration. And there we go. Then we'd have our lights, our low and high set up. We'd have our state set up. And we'd be pretty much good to go. Awesome. Basically, what you're trying to do with the low section of the lights is to keep the amount of real lights to a minimum and just sort of replace those with instead the decoration of the light instead of the light, if that makes any sense. So. You just want to have a decoration, so a corona instead of a light shining and reflecting light everywhere. It's more performance friendly. So that's how you do it for the low version. Instead of a real light and a decoration, you could just use the decoration. And basically that's what you do for the low section. Awesome. Now as you get more complex, putting together more lights and stuff, it may be a a little bit larger, like this, your light section, oh yeah, all the way down here somewhere. And yeah, a good thing to do in these cases is to go through your i3d file and just sort of see the indexes of your lights and as you're listing them through here, your decorations, the indexes of them and everything, just sort of put a little note beside them, a comment, you can do that like this. or rather like this, and put this is dot dot dot, so what it is, and you can sort of keep track of which lights are what, which makes it easier to edit the light types of them in the future. So yeah, that's something to keep in mind, but actually, yeah, you'd want to have an end to that as well, so like that. And that's how you do your comment, as they call it. And it would make it easy to keep track of what they are, and 
what you should be changing in the light type too. And another thing you might see in some mods is excluded light types. Now, I don't exactly know what it does. I've been experimenting with it a little bit in my mod, trying to figure it out, but it doesn't really seem to do anything, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Alright, but yeah, that pretty much covers the basics of light types, real light, states, low and high, all pretty much everything you need to know about lights to put together a mod. Phew, well that was a lot of information and a pretty long tutorial, but I do hope this has explained some things for you and has helped you to understand at least a little bit better what some of these things mean. I know I had quite a time trying to figure it out myself, and yeah, I probably spent a good two hours recording this, so yeah, I do hope it's helped you at least a bit. So yeah, that will conclude this tutorial, if you did enjoy it, or if it did help you, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and perhaps check out my Facebook page for some of my modding projects, and other cool stuff uh, that I've done and not done. Alright, so anyways, that's it for now, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!